வணக்கம் டிஸ்கசிங் சம் எக்ஸாம்பிள் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் செக்மெண்ட் வி லுக் அட் ஜென்ரலைஸ் மெஷர்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் அண்ட் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் சம் மெஷர்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் சம் ஆஃப் த கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஜென்ரலைஸ்ட் மெஷர்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் திஸ் சிஸ்டம் எசென்ஷியலி கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் செவரல் பிளாக்ஸ் ஈச் ஆஃப் விச் வில் ஹாவ் இட்ஸ் ஓன் இன்டர்னல் செக்யூரிட்டி ஆர் இன்டர்னல் system so that is it contains several small units that are interconnected each of which performs a specific function these are called functional blocks functional blocks because each of them has a specific role to play a specific function to do and these blocks work in a sequence why what is the idea the idea is to use one block to acquire information or signal or data use another block to process improve signal quality the third one is to for example present this data in a human intelligible manner a display for example printed for example or or in the case of stethoscope present it in a manner that the human ear can perceive for example of course it means that if depending on the function or the non function or the quality of the function of each of these blocks the overall system quality and the overall system characteristic will change drastically that means that if i am interested in having a high quality measurement system overall i need to have each of these individual segments each of these individual blocks also of a high quality that's absolutely important. so that is for an at an individual level but it is not enough for each of these to perform well individually but they must also work well with each other for example some people work well as individuals but they might not be great team players likewise if i having two blocks each of which work great and perform their function well but they don't talk to each other well for example and this could happen this could very well happen in the electrical system for example if there is impedance mismatch then it is possible that two blocks do not communicate information well although each of them work well individually so the overall system performance depends on not just individual block performance by the way it does depend on individual block performance but it also depends on the collective or the overall or how the systems or the sub systems or the blocks communicate with each other and how well they gel together how well they work together in speaking in a non technical manner we will look at in detail the technical details of what this means it's absolutely critical that the initial element and the transducer or the sensing element have high quality and high specificity that is it should have the required quality such that it makes these measurements at a, with high accuracy and minimal noise and it only measures the signal of interest and not the other physiological signals remember there might be many physiological signals and if you are interested in a particular signal and if your sensor for example picks up some other physiological signal although that is also a physiological signal if you are not interested in the other one then you are essentially not interested in the other one that is that is noise for you so it is absolutely critical that your sensing element be specifically designed for the task at hand let us look at some of the a uh, uh, generalized block diagram for example for example if we are interested in performing some procedures like uh, you know excitation transmission illumination irradiation stimulation application or injection so essentially essentially multiple blocks involved and sometimes involving loops that is an object of measurement in this case for example it might be the blood pressure case that's a physical quantity that i mean it might be a physical or a chemical quantity 
for example you might be interested in uh, measuring uh, the sugar level in blood for example now that's a chemical quantity now this object of measurement is given to the sensor and uh, this sensor converts that physical or chemical quantity into an electrical quantity which is then sent to the electronic instrument which then is sent to the professional the medical professional who is the observer in a manner that is intelligible to the human professional in this case the sensing and the electronic system together constitute the the measurement system this is the measurement system but the object of measurement may be of multiple modalities this is critical to remember it need not just be electrical it may be electrical but it can be mechanical it can be also chemical for example These are some of the key characteristics of a measurement system a critical characteristic is accuracy but before that what are some of the types of these characteristics can we classify these characteristics that is the question and turns out that i can actually classify these characteristics there are indeed two types of these characteristics the first is so static characteristics this is a situation in which the input changes relatively slowly and you are interested in measuring the performance of the system when the measured quantities changes slowly or is constant a critical static characteristic for example is accuracy what is this accuracy accuracy is essentially a measure of how close your measured variable or your measured value is to the true value first of all you don't know what the true value is your aim is to have your measured value as close as possible to the true value for example let us say you are interested in measuring the height of a person or the length of a, a particular organ say the length of the forearm first of all you need to define what is the forearm what is the forearm let us say you are having some bony markers biomarkers that you the distance between which are the are the segment between which you are defining as the forearm let us say for example the the the, the, the space between the elbow joint and the wrist joint is called as the forearm okay i can for example make this measurement using a regular you know school ruler a ruler regular ruler i can use and make a measurement but then i can also use calipers there are advantages and disadvantages to using both and there are many methods in which you could do that for example now let us say that you are interested in measuring another example a similar example is i am interested in measuring waist size why is this important because the waist size it turns out is a critical biomarker of health if the waist size is big that essentially means that the person is having a big belly that means that the person is likely to get serious diseases metabolic disorders for example now if i am interested in measuring waist size i can use the regular tailor's tape to make that measurement and i will get some data now i can use a more accurate like there are ways in which i can make the same measurement using more accurate systems what is the difference the difference is that how much resolution with which you can measure what is the least count of your measuring system and so on and so forth this is true for all measurements